With the advent of the atomic era, a new and formidable mission was assigned the Air Force. Massive retaliation against any aggressor. with its own mission and capabilities, frequently the Air Force, Navy, and Army team up to tackle a problem in unison. The advantages of such combined operations as the Inchon landing are plain. With the changes being wrought by the Jet Atomic Electronic Revolution, the concept of inter-service cooperation is being strengthened, while at the same time, each branch is working toward a goal of self-sufficiency within its own area of operations. A new combined striking force incorporating nuclear-powered ships, atomic artillery, and air-guided missiles would make the Inchon invasion pale by comparison. But such a force would be vulnerable to the very weapons it turns to its advantage. Yet, in the middle of this military revolution, one principle remains constant. The Army, Navy, and Air Force all exist to maintain the sovereignty and security of the United States to keep inviolate the land mass of the nation.